Hello, my name's uh, Alexis Sargent. I'm uh, the founder of Voipon Solutions, a distributor based out of uh, the UK. I'm here at uh, CBIT 2015, uh, Europe's uh, largest technology show. I'm uh, actually happy to be uh, joined with uh, Nick Garlia, who's uh, the founder and uh, CEO of uh, 3CX. Uh, Nick, how are you finding the show? Well, it's very good so far. CBIT is always a great uh, show for meeting also other strategic partners and, of course, best re resellers. So uh, it's, the first day has been quite good. So, so far, so good. Um, we understand that uh, 3CX have been sort of pioneering the, the WebRTC technology. Yeah. Um, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, WebRTC, of course, is pretty much a game changer um, for the telecoms uh, business. It's going to change the way we make phone calls. And we have, uh, as one of the first PBXs, integrated WebRTC at the core of our product so that we, you can now make inbound calls using WebRTC. Uh, either uh, if you have, let's say, a, a website, you can have your customers call in with click to call. But also you could publish uh, links on your email that anybody can call in with WebRTC to anybody within the company. And the good thing is that you don't need DID numbers, but most importantly, you can add video to any communication, which basically makes it much easier for salespeople to sell so they can be more productive. So that's how we've integrated WebRTC. And we also have a web meeting product, video conferencing, which is plug-in free because of WebRTC. So it's very easy to get participants into a conference. They don't need to install any plugins. Uh, it's integrated with our phone system, no additional licensing, and uh, that's making that's differentiating our video conferencing from other video conferencing solutions. Cool. Well, uh, we're a big fan of WebRTC and think that technology is going to go uh, a lot further. So it's good to hear that 3CX are moving in that direction. Um, how do you um, see the market moving with uh, cloud-based technologies? I mean, in the UK, where we've got fibre to the cabinet and there's 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 more higher quality availability of internet with better quality of service, etc. More people are bypassing the traditional PSTN with, you know, boxes, and etc. And they're using more cloud-based products. How's 3CX getting involved in, in that movement? Well, um, 3CX, of course, being a software-based solution, was always ideally suited for on-premise uh, or private cloud, because that's also very, uh, very important. Um, so we are always in that market. But now we're also going to launch a cloud server which makes it very easy for managed service providers to host 3CX for many customers. So they could have, let's say, one or more servers and they could host on each server 50 uh, tenants, let's say. And uh, what's going to make our solution unique that each tenant will be completely separated from a data perspective, but also uh, functionality so that uh, you get hosted, but without the disadvantages of traditional hosted systems which are sometimes unreliable or have few features because they have to you know share one computer with many tenants and this product should be coming out over the next uh, month or so and i think again that will be um, uh, there will be a lot of uptake of the product for managed service providers and and also uh, hosters um, and I guess last but not least, can you tell us about any new and up-and-coming products that perhaps we haven't covered yet? I'd say, um, well, this cloud server is a thing that we're uh, working on uh, pretty intensively at the moment, and uh, that's going to be the big news we'll have in about a month's time. Uh, yeah, so 3CX cloud server. Yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, it's been uh, great for you to join me. Thanks very much Thank for the interview. Thanks Many thanks. Cheers, Nick. Thanks.